Good evening to you and welcome again. And our guest this time is Sir Terence Wogan. And good day to you, sir, and thank you very much indeed for joining us. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> this programme is called The Meaning of Life. And a fairly portentous title. In, indeed it is. <laughs> Perhaps a little overreaching in its ambition. Well, well, Nonetheless, what, what do you think life has as a meaning? What do you think the meaning of life is? My life, if you're asking me about my life and the meaning of my life, it's been absolutely wonderful. I've had the most wonderful time. Uh, I've had a lovely family. I've had a loving wife. I've had success in the material world. I've done something I wanted to do. I've had an ideal life. So I can only tell you what it means to me, which is happiness. Your overreaching feeling then would be one of gratitude. Absolutely. But not to anybody or anything in particular. You could say fate, luck. Yeah. But I, I can't believe that the, the, somebody out there beyond the clouds particularly picked me out to have a good time. In the end, did you decide that you do not believe in God or otherwise? Yeah, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in heaven and I don't believe in hell. I know it's arrogant, as I said before. Better men than me have believed in God. Far more intelligent people than me. But at, at this stage of my life, let me, let me put it that way, that I don't, I can't accept the logic. Okay, last question. Suppose it's all true, what the Jays told you in the Crescent and in Belvedere. Suppose it's all absolutely true and they were right. And you get up there to wherever. When you meet that great director general in the sky, what will you say to him? I look around a bit and I think I'll say, where am I? And then, yeah, having me on. I don't believe this. <laughs> But I'll take it if it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Won't we all, dear? Won't oh. we all? <laughs>